Hello, I am Laz, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to be better at playing one-handed Cursed Staff. And also, I'll be sharing some PvP tips, and make sure to watch the video completely to understand what I'm dropping. This video might not be entertaining, but it's for those who want to be better at playing Cursed Staffs. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before I start the video, let me show you my build. Guardian Helmet, Assassin Jacket, Soldier Boots, Sarcophagus Shield, and Martlock Cape. This build cost around 700k, including Siphoned Energy, Potion, and Food. The first fight is with One-Handed Spear, and if you look closely on his passives, it looks normal at first, but as I ate the food, he changed his boots into Dodge, which is a counter for my E. But here's the twist. That's what I want him to be. Oh shit, not good. No! No! You see how easy that fight was? Let's see another fight. My opponent is a battle axe, and from the start, I told him that I can take you easily. And that's how we started. In that two fights, I hope you learned something. For example, when to use your E in the effective way, how to be patient in your fight, and how to fight against players who has counters. But these are melee versus cursed fight. How about range versus curse? Normally, I would avoid fighting with range players such as bows and crossbows, and my only target is melee players, as they need to come closer to deal damage. But what if there is a fight when I have to fight range weapon players? In the next fight, let me show you how to fight against range. My opponent is a tier 8 light crossbow, and I'm on the same level as well. I started poking him with armor piercer so that I could get a head start. As I thought he was about to run, he charged. So I have to use my pre-guardian to absorb the damage. As I was thinking to mount up, my opponent gave me a window to poke him, which gave me 200 HP head start.
As someone who is still learning about PvP, making mistakes are just natural. In this fight, you see how we traded each other's ability. That's what you need to understand. You always need something for something. If not, you're dead. In the next round, I died. Because I made one mistake. Yes, you heard it, only one mistake. Which becomes the cause of my death. Here's how. In the end, I just want to say, you don't always need to show your curse E to show who's the boss. You just need patience, calmness, and good sleep at night. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't want to hear me, hear me, I need to be better.